everyone. Today I'm going to be talking to you about responding versus reacting and the different parts of the brain that are involved with both of those. But in order to do it, I like to use the help of some animal friends. So the first friend I have is the bulldog. And he is like our guard dog. He is our protector. That part of the brain is called the amygdala. Again, that can be kind of hard to remember. So I like to refer to it as my bulldog. And it's back here. So he lives back here. And like I said, there he is. He's our guard dog. He helps keep us safe. Without him, we literally would not be here. So he plays a really, really important role. But the thing is, is like any dog, right? He can get a little bit excited at times and get a little bit carried away. He likes to get especially carried away with emotions like fear um, or anger. And when he does, he tends to bark really, really loud, right? What that might look like would be um, maybe when you get really mad at your brother or sister and you just start screaming at them or you slam your bedroom door when you're mad at your parents or maybe it's when you say, like you don't even think and you just say something really mean or hurtful to a classmate or a friend. Those are examples of when your bulldog gets a little bit out of control, a little bit carried away. And when he barks really loud like that, like when any dog does, it kind of can be really hard to hear. And that causes, I have to sit back so I can get both of them. That causes our wise owl to not be able to do its job. So I'm gonna put the bulldog down for a second so I can have the owl's turn. This is our wise owl. And the owl lives up here in your pre frontal cortex, or I like to say PFC for short. And your owl, this part of your brain, is the wise part. It makes all those good choices. It helps you um, pause and think before you say something or before you act in a certain way. It also helps your body rest and heal. So it's a really important job. But like what I was saying, when your bulldog is getting a little carried away with that fear, anger, um, or excitement, whatever it might be, and is barking really loud, your owl's like, ah, no, this is way too loud, and flies away, making it so you kind of don't think straight and you react, right? Those immediate things that you say or do versus taking just a couple seconds to respond, which is what your owl, what this part of your brain does to make all those nice, good choices so we have a little tool that we like to use and it's actually your breath super easy right your breath is like a leash for your puppy dog so when you take those nice deep belly breaths nice slow breaths it's almost like this invisible leash comes up with each breath you take and it grows longer and longer and attaches to our puppy dog, helping him get back under control, not bark quite so loud, which then makes your owl be able to think and make those good choices. So I want you guys to start to notice uh, maybe what causes your bulldog to get a little out of control, to bark a little bit louder, um, and then focus on using your breath as a leash to get him reined in so you can make those wise choices with your owl. Have a good day.